Hi everyone, this is Vivek from Tech101. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use SVG images in your Flutter app. So it, without any delay, let's start our video. Before starting our video, be sure to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to receive notification of our upcoming videos. So uh, here I have uh, two SVG images. One is this image and here I have uh, icon over here. The, it is not rendered here in browser, but we can see the SVG code. So let's go back to our app and start implementing how we can uh, insert or use SVG pictures in our app. So let me open Visual Studio Code and here uh, uh, I have built the default Flutter app in my mobile device as you can see here. It is up and running in my device. So first of all, let's make a asset folder and add our SVG pictures here. So let me create a new folder in a root directory named assets. And now let me move those SVG pictures in this folder. So let me select these two and let's move this and here we have two images. So now uh, we have to add the reference to this assets folder in our prospect.aml file. So go back to prospect.aml and uncomment this line. That is line number 63 and 64 and now replace this uh, first uh, the first image path by a set slash and doing this will work for all the uh, images that you add in this directory okay so we don't have to uh, use uh, these two names okay so let me rename this to uh, icon and this is image so let me rename this to image and to display uh, SVG images we have to use a separate package called Flutter SVG so let's install that too just go to your browser and head over to pop.dev and search for Flutter SVG and install the first package that you see in the search results go to installing and copy this code and paste this in the terminal okay so and uh, make sure that the path is uh, the path of your root directory okay that is test one one for me so let me paste it and this will simply add Flutter SVG package in my uh, prospect.aml file as you can see here Flutter SVG is over here so now stop the app and rebuild it again okay as we have just uh, added Flutter SVG package now we have to build this okay run start debugging Okay, now let me make a, a folder named screens and I will make a new file omiscreen.dat to display those SVG image and icon omiscreen.dat and here I will write a simple boilerplate code for a simple screen okay so let me make a stateless widget and let me name it is home screen and I'm going to return a scaffold and 
inside this app bar I'm going to give a title of okay the app is built again title text and it is plotter SVG demo now the body I will make a column and inside it's children okay I'm going to write the text um, image okay and after this we have to use uh, SVG picture okay so uh, uh, let's import the package that we have just installed that is SVG picture for the SVG okay import okay import package plotter SVG slash plotter SVG dot that okay and then use widget named SVG picture dot asset okay so if you simply uh, write SVG in your code then you can see this recommendation and select this third one SVG picture dot asset and you have to provide the path to your asset okay that is your image so for me it's asset slash asset slash image dot svg image dot svg and let me make another uh, text widget for icon and let's do the same for the picture okay that is icon control c control v and the path is different that is icon dot svg so let's restart the app and don't forget to give reference to this home screen in the main dot dot file so that uh, we can see the home screen that we have built instead of this default home screen and let me restart the again and let me add const keyword here and I have restarted the app okay now you can see the SVG image but uh, the bottom is overflowed okay so I can simply use list view instead of this column now you can see the SVG icon and we can change the color and size of these images so let me show you quickly so here uh, let me change the color of this icon okay so it is uh, black let me change it to green okay now you can use the property color okay and you can provide any colors of your choice colors dot green the green accent as you can see here the color is changed into green accent similarly you can adjust the width and height of the image too okay uh, for now let me give a width of um, 50 and height of 100 okay now the uh, icon is smaller and you can do the same for image and if you hover in this widget svg picture then you can see the different properties and you can play around with each of these properties so guys how is this video if you like this video give us a thumbs up and if you have any problems while following the steps shown here please don't hesitate to comment below thank you for watching